Hello, welcome to this uh, new video of AWS Beginners. Uh, so, in this video, I are going to discuss that how you can create a uh, AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu system, and you can set up a GUI for that and access through that remote desktop connection. So, let us uh, go to the EC2 instance. So, here I have logged in as a root user. Uh, so, first we have to create one instance. So, that is based on uh, Ubuntu system. So, how to do that? You just go to instances okay so uh, previously i have two instances here i have terminated that uh, so that i can create a new instance fresh new so for that you go to launch instances here and then uh, here i will take uh, the new system okay so i'll take uh, let's say <coughs> ubuntu instance okay so we'll create this new instance named as uh, ubuntu instance and for that here it is asking application and os images so for that we are going to use the ubuntu os here on, in which we will be installing our display manager for gui and then the server by default uh, what it is so let it be that no need to change it and then you can uh, in, uh, instant type so t2.micro here it is taking uh, 1 gb of memory and uh, 1 cpu so let it be there whatever uh, by default it is and here key pair generation uh, we can create a new pair as uh, new key pair as well and as well as we can use the existing key pairs so i can use the existing key pair but if if you are new to this system then it's better you go for a create new pair and you have to give a uh, name for the key pair that is you are going to create so make sure that the key pair is always unique if you have uh, any key pair generated pre previously then it will not take the same name and one more thing you should check here is you should uh, create the key pair with the dot ppk so that you can use with that the putty system and here then create a key pair it will ask for downloading the key pair so you can download the key pair and save it so that will be used later while using the putty software after that there is network setting so in network settings you have to do some modifications so go to edit here and in the network setting the subnet info whatever it is so just take uh, this uh, so ap south a so if you are from any other region you will see a b c uh, all these systems will be available so better you take the first one the a because the second one are uh, all nothing but the uh, clone of the system so you better take the original one that is the a and uh, after this whatever it is leave it and uh, here ssh is there so through putty you are going to connect so this ssh uh, security rule has to be given and then here you select it my ip you can go with anywhere or custom as well i am going with my ip and we are going to access the linux system through remote desktop connection so for that we need to add a one security rule as well here and what is that so that is my rdp uh, that is for the uh, remote desktop connection and here also makes same as my ip so this is the source type from where it can be connected so it can be connected from the uh, this default ip okay after this configure setup so here it is taking at 8 gb of memory and gp2 root volume and uh, let it be there no need to change it so uh, rest of the thing by default only thing you need to add here is this rdp security rule you have to add and after this you just launch the instance so once it is successful we will uh, access the instance through the putty software so let us see if the instance is started running or not so i will refresh this one so once I refresh, you can see this Ubuntu dot instance underscore instance what I've created is now pending and it will be started soon. So it will it just takes uh, two to three minutes maximum to start. Uh, so uh, you can wait or you can just uh, click on refreshing. So see now it is running and once it is running and if you select this one particularly, then it will show you an IP address. So what is this IP address? Basically, this IP address through this IP address only it is connected to your AWS uh, virtual machine that is the Ubuntu instance that we have created. So, what we have done now, we have just created one Ubuntu operating system and it is running on the Amazon Web Service Cloud. Now, how do I access that? So, uh, primarily that can be accessed through the Putty software. So, if you don't know what is Putty, then you just search in Google Putty and you will find a page putty.org. So here you go to download the putty version and you can choose your windows version and then you can download it. So already I have downloaded it. So I'm not uh, going to download it again, but you can use this uh, site to download. Next I'll open my putty software. Okay. 
So once the PuTTY software is open, so here I have to give the IP. So which IP? So the IP that I have copied from here, I have just pasted it over here. Now in the PuTTY, what are the set settings you need to make sure? Make sure that it is SSH connection is there. I remember we have given the network security as the SSH connection. So that's why you make sure that SSH is there and port number is 22. Let it be by default, no need to change. And after that, you have to go to this SSH, click on the plus button and go to the authentication. In the authentication, what you have to do? We have created one key pair, right? So the key pair we have to access and that will, through this only, it is going to be connected to my Ubuntu system that is created over the EC2 service. Okay. Now we will click here open. If everything is fine, then it should be getting connected. So see now it is getting connected and uh, we have to log in to the system. So by default, the username is Ubuntu for a Ubuntu instance. So just type Ubuntu and hit enter. So once you hit enter, then uh, uh, it will get connected and it will show the information as well. So you can see uh, the usage of 19% from 7.58 GB. We have created 8 GB system. So it is taking 19% that is 7.58 GB is available. Memory usage that is the processor is there 21% use. So all this um, information will be given. So after that, what you need to do? So to uh, install this uh, graphic manager or to enable the GUI, we need to install the display manager in the system. To access through it through the remote desktop connection, I need to enable the XRDP package or the remote desktop pack, remote desktop connection package as well. So before that, one thing we need to do, we need to update this OS. Okay. So how to do that? You have to write sudo. I'll get this. Uh, see, get the, give these comments on the description. You can uh, copy it. So sudo apt. So this is the basic syntax. If you use Linux system, Ubuntu system, then you might be knowing it. If not, then just uh, follow this and just type the uh, type these comments and it will work. So sudo apt get update, it will update my system, update the OS. So it will just take few time, few minutes or few seconds. Now see 95 percent, it is completed. It will install this and it will be done. So it just takes some time. So now the system is updated. Okay. And uh, now uh, my OS is updated. Next, what to do? We are going to access it through the remote desktop connection. So for that, I need to install one package that is called as XRDP. So how to do that? So sudo apt install XRDP. So basically, this is the command that you need to install the RDP package or the remote desktop connection package. So it uh, takes a bit of uh, five, uh, maximum five minutes, not more than that. So I'll resume after five minutes. So here after downloading, it is extracting the all the files that is downloaded and installing the package. Uh, total time it took around maximum two minutes in my system. So it will be similar to uh, your system as well. So it is not system dependent. It depends on the internet speed and uh, all the things. So basically it is happening on the remote system, this process. It is not happening in my system. So actually doesn't the speed doesn't depend on your system configuration. So once it is done, then we have to enable this XRDP package. So how do we do that? So uh, let us see. Okay, now this is uh, getting completed. So the XRDP package is installed now and we need to enable this package. So by default, it is not enabled. So we have to enable this. So how to do that again? Again, sudo, right? So system, system control, enable XRDP, that is RDP I am enabling here. Okay. So now it will enable the RDP. After that, as this Ubuntu system in AWS services, that doesn't come with a display manager. By default, there is no display manager. Everything has to be done through this uh, terminal window only. So we need to access the Ubuntu system through remote desktop connection. So for that, I need a display package as well. So I, I need to add one display package. So there are several display packages available for Linux based or Ubuntu systems, but I am going to use the genome three repository. Okay. So for that, I need to write sudo add get then which what to get repository. Okay. And which repository it's PPA. It's just the command you need to follow it. So uh, genome three.
Okay. So with this command, uh, some error is there. Okay, so the error uh, here was it is not gate repository, it is add sudo apt. Ah, okay. So now it should be adding the genome 3 uh, system here, genome 3 display manager here, and it will take a while. So for that, I am just pausing the video once it is completed again. I will uh, pause now. It is uh, completed. What you have to do, we have added the repository in the system and we need to install that display manager as well. So how to do that? So here again, sudo apt gate install. So genome cell ubuntu genome desktop. So this is the package we are going to install to access the Lubuntu system through uh, remote desktop connection and GUI enabled. So with this it will take a bit. So I will type Y and continue. Uh, so after this completes I will resume the video. It will not take more than 5 minutes. Just uh, maximum 5 minutes it will take. So this uh, package is already downloaded and it is about to finish the process. It took maximum uh, 5 minutes in my system. It should not take more than that. So now once this uh, system will get uninstalled properly and everything is fine, we need to give a password for the system to access. So uh, next command will be how to give the password to install to access this system from the uh, remote desktop connection. So let this process be complete, then we will give the password command how to set the password. So this package of display manager is now completely installed here and after that I need to just set a password to get going. So to set the password, the co uh, command is so sudo. So yeah, sudo password and uh, Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is the username here. Just hit enter. It will ask for the new password. Just give any password you want. So once you type the password, it will not not show anything there. But uh, it it takes uh, for their security reason, it doesn't show up. So I've just given the password as one two three and confirm it. Now everything from the putty side or setting up the Linux system from the uh, cloud is completed and after this we will go to the remote desktop connection we need to access the PC. Okay. So how to access the PC? Now once you open the remote desktop connection it will ask the computer or the IP address you have to give where to give the uh, get the IP address. So it is the same IP address that you have taken for the putty. So just copy this IP address and paste it here and then click on connect. Okay, so uh, it will take just a while to connect, give the permission and then it will ask for the username and password. So what is the username password here? So username is Ubuntu, by default it is and your password is 123 uh, that I have take given. Okay, and in the session, do not change anything, let, uh, let, let it be XOR and uh, click OK. So now you should be entering into the remote desktop connection and your virtual PC that is running on the Ubuntu system. So that's how you can access your Ubuntu system remotely. So it will just take a while to set it up for the first time and it is asking to uh, color man to change the color manager first time login. So you can just cancel skip it and then it is asking to set up the window uh, set up the Linux system for the first time. So if you want uh, you can do it or else you can skip it. So we will directly go to the desktop here. Okay. And uh, now the thing is that I am in the uh, Ubuntu system and the genome uh, 3 display manager requires 1.5 GB of RAM at least but here we are using just 1 GB so that's why it is bit slower but not that much of slower that it will uh, irritate you. So now this is your Ubuntu system that is accessed by remote desktop so you can see this is accessed by the Windows uh, system with remote desktop connection. Here if you go to activities and you can find the all the application that is required. And uh, here if I go to this menu, then it will show me that what are all the utilities that is already available in the system. So you can see this calculator, text editor and uh, library office. So all the required things are available and terminal is also here. So you can open the terminal and if you want to, want, uh, want to work on the remote desktop system, then you can work. So this is a short process that how you can access your remote desktop connection of uh, AWS EC2 service based on Ubuntu system. 
and in now upcoming videos i'll be telling that how you can do the same thing with the am user as well and how you can restrict the am user to do all the things so for this video we'll stop here and in the next video we'll meet with a new concept and a new service style so thank you very much for watching and if you find this useful uh, say to person who needed it thank you